Welcome back everyone. I'll go and show you exactly how to connect an Xbox Series X, Xbox One controller to your specific, you know, MacBook, whether it's the new one or it's the old one, it doesn't really matter. And the first thing you want to do is you want to find your controller like this and you want to make sure it's charged up. Now I don't have, and for some reason the batteries are dead, so I'm going to go ahead and just plug it into a charger. So now in this case, what we want to do is we want to go ahead and make our way over to our Bluetooth connection settings to our MacBook. So you can either click on the top right and click on Bluetooth right here, or we can also click on our system preferences where you can get to right here and click system preferences. And then you want to click on Bluetooth right here. Now, once you're here, you'll see all the other devices that you have connected to your specific MacBook. But now all we have to do is put our Xbox controller into pairing mode. So in order to do this, you just want to go ahead and power on the controller like this. And then once it starts blinking like this, you're almost good to go. There's a share button on the back of these controllers. And all you want to do is you want to go ahead and hold down that button until your Xbox controller starts blinking like this. And you will see immediately we will get that little Xbox wireless controller option right here. So all we have to do is go ahead and click on connect. And you should see that the controller will actually go ahead and connect and this light will stop blinking. As soon as this light stops blinking, you are pretty much good to go. You can even see, I think we can control this option right here. Probably not. So now all you have to do is find games that are supported for these controllers. So there's not a lot of games that I can think of that I have. I tried a couple of them. None of them seem to have been working, which is very strange. So really all you have to do is go ahead and find these games that support it. And then you're pretty much good to go. So that's pretty much the process. If you guys have any other questions or anything like that, as you can see, this controller doesn't support either. If you guys have any other questions or anything like that, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.